The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1 in 5 minutes. Sort of. Everything you need to know about this story so far. Spoiler alert. Welcome back to the Georgian Undead Apocalypse. Clementine may not have Lee Everett anymore, but she's still got her trusty hat, her gun, her Omid, and her pregnant Krista. During a bathroom break, Clem puts down her gun and heads to a creepy stall, but don't worry, it's empty, so everything is gonna- Aw, oh, crap, who's that? The prissy brat holds Clem up with Clem's own gun, and things look bad. Luckily, Omid comes in to help, but things don't go too well, and BAM! No more Omid. This brings in pregnant Krista, who's all hopped up on hormones, and BAM! No more prissy brat. Krista puts it together that the gun that took Omid's life was Clem's, and we fade to black. Time's passed, Clem is older, and Krista is burnt out. There's no baby in sight, but plenty of despair. During the bickering, Clem might say she misses Lee or Omid, and Krista goes off to get firewood. While Clem decides if she wants to use some garbage or insanely personal mementos to keep the fire going, shouts are heard. Krista's in trouble, and Clem can either distract the attackers or take off. Either way, the bad dudes notice and the chase is on. Clem dodges walkers, kicks at bad guys, and eventually uses the undead to take down the man after. She then falls into a river and is whisked away. Waking up on the riverbank with no sign of Krista, Clem ventures inland where she hears a menacing rustling that turns out to be... A doggy! Who's a good little boy? You are! You are, doggy! The pair scour a campsite for supplies and discover a walker tied to a tree. Clem beats the living piss out of it, takes a knife, and finds a can of beans which she can either share or not share with the mutt. Either way, it leads to Fido biting her, and Clem kicks him off onto... A horrible, metal, pokey structure! The pup is destined for death, and Clem can either slit its throat, or leave the pup to suffer. Cold. Bitten and bleeding, Clem's in bad shape. Walker surround her, but Pete, who looks a lot like the badass Alfred from Batman Earth 1, and Luke, who looks a lot like former IGN or Ty Root, swoop in to fight them and pick up Clem. On the walk to Luke and Pete's HQ, they discover Clem's bite mark, and the little girl has to try to explain that it's not a walker bite. She then passes out and wakes up outside the cabin, where a whole new cast of characters is arguing about what to do with her. Nick almost shoots her when she stirs. Rebecca is a total bitch and fights with her partner Alvin, and Sarah looks like a mini ugly Betty. Carlos is mini ugly Betty's dad, but more importantly he's a doctor. He decides to toss Clem in the shed. If she isn't a zombie in the morning, he'll help. Otherwise, he's not wasting any supplies. <laughs> How's that for the Hippocratic Oath? Clem isn't about to let her arm get infected, so she busts out and makes her way to the house for medical supplies. During the search, she overhears that Rebecca's baby might not be Alvin's, then let it be his. And eventually ends up talking with Sarah, who is really sheltered and has no idea how bad things are in the world. A pinky swears forever. Good for you, Mini Ugly Betty. I'm sure this won't end horribly. Clem returns to the shed and in excruciating detail sews her arm back up. She also destroys a walker, which proves to the cabin people that she's a survivor. I'm still not bitten. I never was. It's now time for Clem to get to know the group, which includes a guilt trip from Carlos for breaking into the house and talking to his daughter, a chance to tell Luke about Lee, an apology from Nick, which Clem can either accept or use to guilt him further. As it turns out, the group let another bite victim in a while ago, and that one killed Nick's mom, so it's kind of a touchy subject. Unsurprisingly, Rebecca does her best to make Clem feel unwelcome, but Clem gets to ask her about the real baby's daddy, Whose baby is it? And Rebecca realizes she's dealing with an ice-cold killer. You should probably think about being nicer to me. The next day, Clem, Pete, and Nick go fishing at the river, where nothing can possibly go- It's a pile of dead bodies, everybody! They're all executed, and Nick mentions that he thinks it's the work of Carver. Everyone looks for clues, and Clem finds her backpack, the one she left at the campsite when all hell broke loose with Krista, next to a broken man begging for water. She can help or deny the man, but no matter what, walkers pour out of the woods. Pete and Nick are separated by the bank Clem is on, and she has to decide who to run to. No matter what, Pete gets bitten. But if she saves Pete, Nick runs off into the woods. If she saves Nick, Pete's pulled down and eaten. Either way, Clem escapes into the woods with whomever survives. What'll happen when Clem's story picks up? Will her and her companion make it out of the woods? Will Carver show up? Will this all be an Ugly Betty prequel? We won't have to wait long to find out. <laughs>